Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to determine what version of an extension you have installed, how to see if there's an updated version of the extension, and then how to upgrade it if there is a new version available. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to see what version you currently have installed. You do this by going and looking in the Adobe Extension Manager. So I'll go to my Start menu and open up Extension Manager. Okay, as you can see here, I have CSS Form Builder installed. And up here, it shows me that the version that I have installed is 1.0.0. Now, usually if there's a new version available, WebAssist will either email you or give you a notification that something is available. If I get a notification or if I want to check on my own, the best way to do this is to actually go to the WebAssist website to see if there's a later version available. So let me open up my browser to the WebAssist website. And then I'll click on the Your Account link. I'll go ahead and log in. And now I'm in my Account Center. I'll click on the Downloads link to go to the Download Center. And here's a list of all the products that I own. And you'll notice is that CSS Form Builder is listed there, and the current version is 1.0.1. .1. Since the current version that's installed in my Extension Manager is 1.0.0, I know that there's a later version available. So I click on the CSS Form Builder link. I'm now in the Download Center for CSS Form Builder. I go to the Extensions section and then I click on the link to start the download. I'll choose Save File and the download is going to start and CSS Form Builder will be downloaded to my computer. Okay, now that the extension is downloaded to my computer, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the extension. First thing to note is that you should have Dreamweaver closed before you do any of this following actions. I'll go back to the Extension Manager, and the first thing I'm going to do is uninstall the current version of the extension that I have installed. So I select CSS Form Builder, I go File, Remove Extension, you're about to remove the extension, and I'll click Yes to confirm. Once the Extension Manager is done removing the extension, you'll see that it's no longer listed in the list of available extensions. Now the next step is to go ahead and install the latest version of, of Form Builder that I just downloaded. So I go to File, Install Extension, and I click on the MXP file that I just downloaded, and click Open. Go ahead and accept the end user license agreement that Extension Manager asks you to accept. Now the Extension Manager may ask you if you want to copy over existing files. It's okay to select yes to all when they ask you this as WebAssist extensions often use shared code and all of our code is backwards compatible. So go ahead and just click yes to all. And once the Extension Manager is done installing, you'll see that the latest version of CSS Form Builder is installed. Hope this video has been helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.